So this is the new bag I've bought, the Vito Pro Pack Tech XL. Pretty big bag. I have started to put a few bits in it. Purchased a few new bits just to sort of go with the kit. Um, got a couple of sets of these, look. Little Nipex. They're quite nice. I've got two of those. I've got another one of those to go with my original set that I've got, which I will sort out today. A few new screwdrivers, etc. But we'll go through that in a minute. So this is the bag that I'm getting rid of. I've not had it very long. It's just not suitable for me, really. And I'm going to clean it up. And I'm sending this to a lad that hasn't got a bag. And I'm also sending my Stanley backpack to another lad uh, again. So as you can see, I've just got all sorts of stuff in here. We're going to empty this out. Then going to relocate most of it into that new bag, yeah? Well, I've been getting on with this van a little bit. Look, ignore this, it will look pretty in a minute. Uh, I don't know if I've ever showed you this. This is the false floor that I built. Bought some of that matting, which is really nice, anti-slip stuff. Once I've sorted this out, I will give you a better tour. Obviously got the two van vaults. Yeah, with a ply on top. Works really well like this, to be fair. And then I can put all my stuff there. It's a little bit of flat bed and I can put, if I wanted to put a sheet of ply in here, I can. Obviously got the length and then long bits of trunking or timber, just go through that little hatch in the floor there. But well, let me get this sorted a little bit more and I'll give you a bit of more of a tour. I'll show you the bag and etc. and what I've done with some bits and bobs. Right, so I'll give the van a little clean out, okay? So as you can see, this is the bulkhead that I built and I just used some like work top, um, you know, end stoppers for these just to keep it neat and tidy. Give it a clean and then under there we've got the two van vaults one houses the tester and stuff one houses all the power tools here is literally just miscellaneous cable boxes sleeving etc um, what i'm going to do now is load it out and then i'll show you what it looks like and then we'll go through that new tool bag and what i've actually put into a, like a surplus tool bag that i've got so yeah what i'm doing first is putting in these two boxes yeah that house um switches sockets switches sockets just general general stuff like that um it's nothing too exciting to be fair way go boxes sockets aerial points literally miscellaneous um stuff these are slightly <laughs> gone out of shape because i had them sat at a funny angle in the van but i'm going to try this a different way um kind of had that at the front at the bulk and it wasn't really working so try it a different way now again this is another one of those boxes just full of um switches sockets and boxes and stuff and these did have wheels on but i have taken at least one of the wheels off it just stops them sliding around the van so they can sort of sit there and then my bench is going to go up here tool bags and boxes down here and that's it really but um i'll show you in a second actually so the new tool bag will be living down the front of the van, but what I'm gonna do is bring it at the back there so I can just go through the new tools that I've put in it. Um, I've kept it to a minimum actually, because a lot of people told me this bag is gonna be monstrously heavy. So I've, I'll, I'll stick it here. What I've done is I've, I've minimized that and then I've actually put a load of bits in this toolbox, like, um, lump hammer and stuff like that that you don't you don't actually need in your in your regular toolbox there yeah so that's going to sit here and that's got literally like chisel bits lots of chisel bits etc or stuff like that in there so he's going to sit there and then I'll, <laughs> a bit of a running joke but I have I have actually got a plumbing bag look it's a little plumbing bag with a soldering iron Oh, bloody hell. A soldering, um, a soldering torch, grips, PTFE, mastic, etc. That lives in there. So that is my actual plumbing bag. Um, everyone does a bit of plumbing. If you're a sparky, you need to do a bit of plumbing because we do shower. We do shower feeds and stuff, don't we? Yeah. So I picked up one of these benches. They're really good. Really handy benches. 
These are the ones with the, um, this is the Keta one. They do a McAllister one, but this is just the Keta one from Tool Station actually. And they just lift out and the feet drop down automatically, click into place, really handy. And then you've got the two clamps that you can slide along here and it holds trunk in tray or whatever. Um, I think Tom, um, Tom Nagy has got one. He's, he uses this quite a lot. I think a lot of us has got them now to be fair. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is load a bit of this in. I've got some cable. Um, this is the drum I use. An old drum of singles to do my back box surfs. Bit of 10 mil there. Standard, isn't it? Bit of 10 mil. Pick that up actually. Look to do a um, to do a job. I didn't I didn't need it in the end. I did it a different way, but that's one of those Luden surge protectors with the 40 amp C type breaker in the little surge protector that goes at the mains um i'll probably use it on another job but there's no point in sending it back i think it was only sort of 70 80 quid which is fairly decent so i'll keep that one on the van just in case um you know you always end up with that box of crap in the van that you never really do anything with um i'm gonna have that i'll show you that in a minute a bit of a wander lead that just lives under here with the transformer the rods, long drill bit, and um, what else is under there? Radio. So the radio's under there. Well, I need to get a new. I need to get a new lead for my transformer because I decided to to pull off the other day. So um, these scuttles are really good. Much better than a dustpan. Not that. Not that electricians do much. Do much of that, do we? Clearing up. Allegedly, I'll probably try and put these little drums in there when I've turned you off. So I went to the shop the other day. Um, managed to get some masks now. It's only an FFP2 JSP, but it's um, it's better than nothing. It's nice to see some stocks coming back now for tradesmen rather than the public buying all the sort of FFP threes and twos that we need when all we're meant to be having is sort of face coverings. Ear defenders, um, and that's that tube of drill bits that I did. I think Andy was my mate, my old mate Andy. Um, he came up with that, so I, I stole his idea. But that's his, um, that was his idea actually, I think. Or he might have got it off somebody else, that's how it normally happens. I'm just trying to fit. I'll take that out of there, that doesn't need to be in there. Bloody screw box. Um, that can go in there, way goes and stuff in there. And as I said, I've got my Nikita gear in here. Um, these Van Volks were 200 and, 250 pound each, but bloody worth it, I tell you. So we're getting there now. What we'll do is drop that down there, the steps can live there. And then we'll, um, we'll go through that tool bag now. Right, so here we have a Vito Tech XL bag. Hopefully you can, you can see that, yeah. Uh, what I've done is I've actually bought a few new tools just to improve. Um, it's actually tools um, to get rid of tools, if you like. So rather than having um, sets of grips and adjustable spanners, I've managed to buy those Nipex. Um, I'll show you those in a minute. So I picked up a new QTEC uh, Q Tech 103 tester. Also picked up this little backhoe set to re um, place my Titan, which is no longer the Titan, but I lost a few bits and a few sockets, so I thought I'd upgrade to that backhoe set. Also picked up a Handyman, tester man, leakage current tester, just as AC, yeah, not DC current. As always, got me armoured slice, me miniature hammer, um, junior hacksaw and a Stanley knife. Got a bubble level, junior bubble level, and I've also picked up a new uh, handyman tech um, continuity tester, continuity tester, um, Steinal tester, sorry. Paintbrush for cleaning out boxes and skirting boards and stuff, and then I couldn't part with these two drivers, just my PZ and my flat. Um, these feel much nicer than the new ones I bought. Um, 
they're Weha and the ones I bought are Weha they just don't feel as nice yeah standard um, vault pen that's a fluke a chisel and a pad saw and up here we've got a a square and then did I put anything in here uh, yes, yeah, some junior hacksaw blades, <clears throat> and then in on here, pencils, etc. And then on here, you've got the little nibs for that tester. Okay, so we're flipping round. It's actually a lovely big bag, but you don't want to put too much in it because it's going to be super heavy. Yeah, in the front here, I've got pencil sharpener, and then lots of um, different size stepped um, cone cutters. Yeah. So turning round, got some tape, some pencils. This side of the bag, standard tape measure, and then I've got the two marksmen, the deep one and the standard box one. Don't know the difference, but they're the same price, so I've clipped one of up each, and I'll just replenish those when they run out. In here, I've just got some standard DeWalt bits and some standard Impact Shockwave bits, Milwaukee, which I absolutely love. And then in the main bit of the bag, I've got some some gloves, a meter key box that also does the um, street lamps, street lights. Got a weird set of hex keys there. They're really nice. Standard sharpie pens, and then um, ray of screwdrivers. Me two taps, four mil and three and a half, which is the standard sizes. And then literally all of the gear you're going to need. So pliers, long nose pliers. Um, I had a bit of a fail with my ones the other day, the set that go with those, so I've picked up these Draper Experts, really nice, really sharp. Um, a, a new set of um, Fat Max um, tin snips. Um, and these three drivers here, these are literally braddles, yeah, non-insulated braddles, so we don't really want to be doing electrical work with those. But for braddling, um, you know, when you're putting that up and feeling around, absolutely fine for that. I've got a standard set of trunking cutters, which does round pipe and uh, trunking up to MT2, OIT2. Got a set of the CK wire strippers that I absolutely love. A lot of people can't get on with those, but once you know the settings and stuff, they're um, fairly easy to get on with. Little set of feral crimps. These are just cheapy ones, which are absolutely fine. Never had any problems. Normal set of crimpers, absolutely fine. And then I bought a new set of screwdrivers, which are the weirer ones, insulated ones, but they just don't feel as nice as the, um, I'm not sure I'm going to get on with these, they just don't feel as nice as those Weha ones, yeah? So, last but not least, I picked up, um, obviously I had a set of these little miniatures, the Nipex 870118 is. Um, so I bought another set to go with those, so I got two of those. That's then condensed my big set of grips down to those little ones. And I also picked up these. Um, these are absolutely awesome. So these have got two flat jaws. Um, these kind of replace any need for spanners and any need for uh, adjustable spanners and stuff. So you can do up armoured glands with these, look, without wrecking the brass. Which isn't brass, on the glands, yeah. Anyway, that is just a really shortened version because I don't want to bore everyone to death. If you want to know any tools that I've got here, give me a shout. I'm not affiliated with anyone. Not affiliate with these guys, I just think their bags are awesome here. Yeah. So I paid full full whack for all these tools and all and this bag. So yeah, that's it. That's the van set up. Um currently on holiday at the minute, so this is a good time to clear the van out, go through the tool bag. I've got the two bag the two bags that I'm giving away to the two lads, they're ready to go. They're gonna be in the post tonight. So yeah. Bit of a different one, but hey ho, that's the way it is. Right, let's go.